Okay, Sue, so now we're on the second one, 1920 South Hazel Court. I just did one not far from here on Hazel Court um, about a year ago. Uh, but let's just review your information here. So you got your, your actual value on here, 109,000. It's a 949 square feet. You have your owner, perfect, good job. Uh, let's check out the pictures. Doesn't look like it's in that bad of shape. Uh, the roof lines look decent, right? This looks a little worn, but that's exactly what we're looking for. Nice, you got a shot of the interior. We can see that it's not completely uh, destroyed on the inside. Good job. Siding's in okay shape. Backyard's in okay shape. It looks like it has, yeah, I mean, it's not completely boarded up. So this might not be a full gut and a full repair. Let's check out your video real quick. I am in the property located on 1920 South Hazel Kurt. Um, Look at you, you're a like a professional journalist. And so far I haven't seen any graffiti, but it's only two blocks away from Federal. Uh, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty busy. Two blocks from Federal. And the neighborhood is, is okay. Uh, it's not too bad. And yeah. Good job. Okay, great. So that's perfect. A little note out in front, a little bit about the area that it's close to federal, a busy street, but this on a quiet street. Doesn't look like mixed use. Now we're going to go into our valuation sheet. And all I do to make it real easy, I just go over here to file and I'll make a copy. And then I'll do the new address, which is 1920 Hazel Court valuation and then I'll go ahead and click OK it will pop that up okay so now we have our our uh, Hazel Court valuation checklist uh, we obviously have to <laughs> fill all these forms out right uh, so I just go to bedrooms bathrooms now I just now I start referring back to my Zillow page right so it's off market it doesn't look lived in those are two good signs it means someone probably wants to sell that property. So your first two properties, great job. They're both three bedroom, one baths. They're both in decent areas. This one backs up to mixed use. As you can see here, here's a big mixed use development, right? But that doesn't mean it's not a good property. It, it's, it's the back of a mixed use development. So it looks like it's quiet, right? Quiet streets off Jewel. Jewel's a good area. I just know the Jewel area. So, um, because so I've done a lot of developing over here, and then Federal Boulevard's great for shopping and amenities for that entry-level price point. So great job. This looks like a great potential property. Has everything that we're looking for. It's distressed, right? It's distressed, but yet it's not completely destroyed. It doesn't look like it has any major foundation problems from looking at the roof lines. See how these are all straight? So that's good, but it doesn't look like anyone lives there. And that's good, too, because that means someone probably wants to sell it. <laughs> okay, so great job. Your first two properties, we're definitely going to make offers on. Now I'm going to go through, I'm going to fill out the first 16 line items with Zillow and the help of Trulia. And then I'm going to reconnect um, and start recording again, and we'll go through our comparable properties. Okay? Okay, so wrapping up here, I filled out everything uh, from 16, line item 16 on all the way up okay now this specific property was listed for sale okay for more information call Melody Bernetti so I'm gonna give her a call we're gonna make our offer there and then the last sale information was on there uh, last sale was a ninety seven thousand dollar sale uh, foreclosed in 2007 and then it was listed for hundred and fifteen thousand so let's review that information and I'll show you what I have so here was the last sale, sold foreclosure auction, 97000 right, back in 07. Now, it was listed this in, in 2008 for 115000 okay? Now, who knows if she still has contact or wants to make the sale on the property, but the information's here. For more information, call Marilyn Brunetti, so we could very well call her and make an offer. Okay, so all of that went into our valuation checklist. Okay, now we're going to go into our RE Colorado. 
our MetroList site, okay? So www.recolorado.com and we'll sign in and get going. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the home. Let's go into the matrix. So clicking on the matrix, head on in here and look at some properties. So we go up here to search residential, general, okay. And then we're gonna go active, under contract, sold, withdrawn, and expired. And all within that six month period, if you remember, we're gonna hit the map feature, click on map. And then we're gonna to jump to the address, 1920 Hazel Court. Hit return, and there we go. Go ahead and click on Actually, you know what I'm going to do since I don't, yeah, I'm going to click on the circle feature. Sometimes I like to do the square. We're going to go out a quarter of a mile, see what we have. Uh, let's see what, uh, that should be enough. Let's go 0.25. And then done. Okay, we have 13 results. So out of those 13 results, let's do a quick scan this way. So we have here a $200,000. This one's pending, right, because it's orange, 189. 155 a two-bedroom, 160 a two-bedroom, 170 a two-bedroom, uh, two pins, 161, 146, and 200. So you kind of get the vibe that we're getting right here, right? Oh, this one looks like it's pending. Let's take a look. Our subject property very well might be under contract. Let's see what we have. 1920 South Hazel Court. And that's not ours. Ours is 1920 Hazel Court, right? Let's see what you have. No, you have South Hazel Court. So it's currently under contract. <laughs> so someone bought it. Good job. It's under contract for $150,000. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so let's just go through it, though. Let's see what we would do. Uh, we wouldn't have purchased it for one hundred and fifty. dollars uh, it looks like about you know like a, about a, probably a sixty to seventy thousand dollar remodel, and it's worth maybe well let's take our take a look around uh, this ranch one story here. Let's see if this has been remodeled. It has been remodeled. Look at those. Look at those uh, cabinets are dated, but updated appliances, new paint, new hardwood floors, new carpet. Okay, new tile. So this was listed for 224, sold for 233, right? It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square feet. So that gives our price point probably right around 200,000, right? Let's just go through uh, the rest of these here. Uh, here's another one, sold for 200,000. It's a three bedroom, one bath. So very com light, comparable, uh, one car garage. It's been updated, newer. Um, everything it looks like paint carpet looks pretty fresh pretty updated not brand new but nice you can even see the under cab lights here okay so that shows that brackets the value right around 200,000 there again okay let's go to the next one this is a 4-2 um, 776 up and 776 down looks like it's been updated partially Little cheaper on the remodel, just basic white, basic white surround. Looks like the vinyl stick down flooring, but it is it is fresh, freshened up a bit, right? So that sold for two hundred. They're again bracketing that price point of two hundred thousand. Let's go to the next one. So this has been updated, right? They're really proud of their carpet here and their, and their new tile, uh, freshened freshened up colors. Uh, a little dated there. Looks like a little dated in the kitchen. So it's dated. It's a little bit dated, hence the price point, 169 It's also a little smaller. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath. Let's go to the next one. Also, just so you know, look at all these are selling within six days. You know, selling very quickly. Very, very hot market. So here's one that sold for 161 Let's take a look at the pictures. It's got to be distressed, right? It's... 900 square feet. Uh, well, it doesn't look too bad, actually. 
but it is a little smaller, two bedroom, one bath, a little less functionality. But it looks pretty clean. Looks like it's been updated a bit. A little bit, the kitchen's a little rough, white appliances, always a sign of kind of a rough area. No hardware on the cabinets, kind of dated fixtures. Uh, so this bracket's the lower end, 160,000. Let's go to the next one. So here we go. This one is a two bedroom, one bath, 700 square feet. Looks like it's been updated, right? A little bit. Decent yard, a little dark. Uh, it's so so. So so. Sold for 160, but it's only a two bedroom, one bath. So the lower end's right around 160. The higher upper end is right around 200,000 for values in this area. Here's another two bedroom, one bath with the same square footage. Looks pretty dated, pretty dated, okay? So this one hasn't been remodeled. We can just tell by the paneling. It only has two pictures, sold for 160. There again, bracketing that price point. Lower end, 160, upper end, 200. Okay, so this is a two bedroom, one bath, no pictures. That immediately tells us that it is a distressed property. They're again bracketing that lower end. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here's a three bedroom, two bath, sold for 150. You know what that means, it must be destroyed, right? Yeah, very dated, old cabinets, old appliances, really dated wallpaper in the bathroom, uh, but a two car garage, and dated there, uh, really old vanity. <clears throat> so pretty beat up. So there again, bracketing that lower end, probably right around 150. Let's go to the next one. Here's a three bedroom, one bath, just like our subject property. Sold for 146, so it must be destroyed, and it is. Boarded up, dirt yard, destroyed, okay? So remodeled properties, we're looking at that you know $200,000 price point. Let's take a look at this one. Sold for 135, three bedroom, two bath must be really beat up on the inside. And it is overgrown. <laughs> yeah, so not totally trashed, but definitely, uh, yeah. It's definitely a remodel, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so there you go. That, that'll give you an idea of what you have working with. So this one, let's go back to our valuation. And this one is, is sold, so we don't need to do it, use it, right? It's under contract. Um, so we'll just go here. Under contract. Value around 200K renovated. Okay. So there you are. So that's it for South Hazel Court. Now, just to let, pardon me, to let you know, we will call on this. Uh, we'll, we'll call up Melody and we'll say, hey Melody, let's, let's get the information right now off Matrix. Let's go to single line display. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and contact the agent. Okay, here's the project. We're gonna contact the agent. Uh, it was under contract, oh, it was a short sale. Curious. So if these guys don't, don't uh, close on it, we're going to go ahead and contact them. Let's edit, copy. Let's go over here and what we want to do is we want to call them and we'll call them up and say that we want to do, we would like to do a backup. Backup offer. Okay. Now, if it's 200,000 renovated, let's put that up here. We'd like to pick this up for right around probably 80,000. 80,000 would be our offer price. Okay, and the reason I came up with that real quick is our renovations are probably gonna be right around 60,000, okay? right around 60,000. So that's it for our 1920 South Hazel Court. Hope this has been informative and we'll see you on the next one.